guys, welcome back to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. And today, obviously, I have a special guest. His name is Mike. He's from Simple Nursing, the YouTube channel, and also simplenursing.com. So he's here today to share some pharmacology tips with you guys. We're gonna ask him some questions. Let's get right into it. Mike is gonna share his top three tips on how to ace pharmacology. Caroline would probably um, agree that one of the top three reasons why someone fails nursing school in, in terms of content wise is pharmacology usually, as well as like med surge, or it could be like, like an audible, but usually pharmacology, med surge, and like getting through those two are really tough. So one of the biggest uh, things that I recommend for pharmacology is to try to relate something in your mind in terms of a story. For instance, if there's something that you've learned that you're learning in class, let's say it's a cardiac glycoside, which is like probably going over your guys' heads if you haven't taken pharmacology, and you're learning digoxin for the first day. One of the things that I learned is like digoxin, like dig, like you're digging joxin because it helps bring down a deeper contraction of the atrium, and it can make you very toxic. So when you dig a hole, it's like a dig joxin, you're digging a grave. So, I mean, that's a little important, but, <laughs> but I mean, the biggest thing is trying to relate something in your mind that will help you to remember and just dump it on the test. Because it really doesn't matter how you study, like, they don't tell you how to study, right? They don't tell you how to study at all. So, like, at all. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much just like, do yeah. your own thing, just get the information, just don't yeah. cheat. Yeah, just but, don't <laughs> cheat, but get your information from wherever you can, right. and good luck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty tough, but I mean. It's tough. Yeah. I mean, a lot of, a lot of yeah. students will make note cards or flashcards, um, there's a lot of books. I personally have a pharmacology boot camp that teaches you everything about the top 40 drugs in nursing school in 48 hours. So we break it down pretty good. And But I mean, the basics is just to understand that, you know, you have to get it in your mind that, the, you know, pictures work really well. You were saying something about... Oh yeah, there's a book that I always recommend. It's called Pharmacology Made Insanely Easy. Mm -hmm. That book takes all of the major drugs and it puts it into a story format. Yeah. And when you're super nervous, if you're like me, or, I mean, how can you not be nervous when you're taking the NCLEX? I know, right? So when you're taking the NCLEX, the, the nerves are like, you know, through the roof. But when you're reading the questions and you're seeing the name of the medication, you can break it down by knowing the prefix or the, or the suffix, mm -hmm. and that that's what helped me pass the NCLEX. And the stories were coming back to me, and not necessarily like the data that I learned from the book. It was the stories that were coming back to me, and that's what helped me, I guess, pass the NCLEX really easily. Yeah. So it's not comprehensive. It doesn't have all of the medications in there, but it does have the major classes, and you have to focus on the classes. Yeah. So you can't you can't break it down into medication. You have to focus on classes. Yeah, I mean, th there is a certain dynamic of, um, you know, you have to like put in the grunt work of studying lists. You do, yeah. But, There's but I no mean, way around it. Yeah. It's a lot of information. But there, so, you know, you can yeah. group it together and yeah. kind of, you know, memorize, like, you know, there's, there's usually top 40 drugs that yeah. you'll have to know for the NCLEX. Yeah, for sure. So, like, usually when you go through pharmacology and nursing school, they give you just a lot, a lot of drugs. But mm -hmm. usually when you're in the hospital and the NCLEX likes to test you on the drugs that will kill the patient, so. Yeah, they do, yeah. Yeah, so that's so. why um, a lot of YouTube videos on my channel as well as my pharmacology boot camp will help condense a lot of the information, as well as the pharmacology made insanely easy it brings to life a lot of the characters in the pharmacology. And just finding as many questions as you possibly can yeah. because the questions are Seriously. designed to find out if you know what to do. They're going to give you different scenarios. So let's say, you know, you have Lasix 40 milligrams IV to administer to a patient mm -hmm. and they'll give you a bunch of lab values. And one of those lab yes. values, you know, let's say sodium of, you know, 135, um, potassium 2.9, magnesium of 1.6. Mm -hmm. And then just say, what should you do? And so you have to know that you should not administer that. You need to question the order. So, you know, because you can cause, obviously, a lot of harm to patients yeah. when you're administering these kind of medications. But I mean, that's... Take it, I mean, yeah. I'm sure you've seen a lot of things happen in the uh, hospital. All I mean, the time. Yeah, so, and you know, it can happen to you, and that's what... It's not... I mean, I'm going to say it's okay. Like, it happens to the best of us, really, but... Mm -hmm. We all make mistakes. <laughs> but that's the thing, that, that's but, yeah. every, I think it's every year or every, I'm not sure how many months, but but every so often the uh, the NCLEX likes to update their stuff. Yeah, well it's every three years. Is it every three years? Yeah, I think it's every three ah, okay, years, cool. yeah. There's but that's a whole new set of questions. A whole new set of questions, yeah. and, and one of the biggest changes was 
more delegation questions and more yeah. prioritization. Mm -hmm. And um, the same thing goes with, uh, with pharmacology. They're trying to make sure that you're a safe nurse. That's their whole test. Mm -hmm. Are you safe or are you not safe? Yeah. That's it. Do you know what you're doing or do you not know what you're doing? Can you mm -hmm. cause harm or, you know, so. So really the, the biggest thing to wrap it up is content as well as questions because you want to filter what you think you know to actual test questions. Um, and I, I liken it to, and I tell my YouTube channel this all the time, where it's like, you know, we're talking about shooting guns on a shooting range. When you actually get to the shooting range, you never actually fire the gun. And that's kind of like when we go to the NCLEX or our exam, yeah. you need to like take practice questions. Yeah, yeah. To get ready for that actual like real life scenario. All right, guys. So once again, thank you so much for watching my channel, and also a big thanks to Mike for coming. If you can give the video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos with Mike. And anyways, you can follow Mike. His link is below. The name of his channel is Simple Nursing. So be sure to follow him. He has a ton of amazing videos. So I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Bye. <laughs> <Seriously>. <laughs>